so it seems that Apple's launch of the iPhone 12 is going to be a lot more um, staggered, I guess, than we thought. Because yes, we have some very interesting leaks of the iPhone 12's launch, and let's just say the company is doing different things. Speaking of launches, Motorola is teasing their event for the upcoming Razer. And according to a new leak, the Galaxy S20 Fan Edition might not be what we thought. Sort of. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, raise your hands if you do feel or at least agree with me that I definitely do need a tan. This is Pocket Now Daily, sponsored by Subcase. Stick around to learn how you can win a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra of your own. The official news today begin with deals. I mean, the Google Pixel 4a is already crazy and expensive. Obviously, it's about to be launched, but for those of you that are interested in already getting discounts with a catch, there's a way. Best Buy has a $50 discount on it, but you do have to choose Activate It Today to get the discount, leaving it at $299 or even $249 if you choose Sprint. I know they're still calling it Sprint. Moving on to Amazon, the Galaxy S10 is $80 off, leaving the 8GB of RAM, 120GB of storage variant, and I'm talking dual SIM for $570 pretty much shipped, and then we've also got the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. It's currently $251 off, leaving the Intel Core i7, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of SSD for $779. Then we've got more deals for ZTE smartphones in addition to also AirPods in the links in the description. Now, a couple of months ago, we discussed the green tint issues that is plaguing iPhone 11 units. I even told you it started as a green tint issue for me, then it completely went blank up to the point where I haven't really been able to fix it because, you know, pandemic. But Apple has just released iOS 13.6.1 to fix the issues in particular. They describe this as a thermal management issue, which caused the display to exhibit a green tint, and they obviously fixed some other bugs along with it. I mean, users claimed on Reddit that it would happen on iPhone 11 models, starting with Night Shift, along with other issues. Obviously, I, I think I'll try to update that iPhone through iTunes, I guess. That's probably going to be a way to... I don't know, recover it that way? We'll see if it works because the screen is pretty much useless. Now, raise your hand and mention what your favorite smartwatch operating system is. Don't be so cruel. I know it's not Weber OS, but it seems that Google is finally, I, I'm serious, the word finally just keeps coming up and it now also includes Wear OS. Google just announced a new OTA update to it that will arrive in the fall to deliver new features and performance improvements. XDA developers actually got confirmation from Google on the fact that this new build of Wear OS will be based on Android 11, as current Wear OS is actually stuck on Android 9. They're adding support for the new Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 and 4100 Plus platforms, which were announced back in June that claim to offer up to an 85% boost in performance. Google claims that this update will bring changes like simplified pairing process, a 20% improvement in the startup of applications, more intuitive controls in different watch modes for workouts and better performance. I mean, at this point, honestly, I just want the damn thing to work better than it currently does. So yeah, I can't wait for it. Let's see when it happens. Now, we have been covering some buzz over that Galaxy S20 Fan Edition that's being rumored. Obviously, a less expensive smartphone option that will bring you some of the perks of the Galaxy S20, which actually the Plus is still one of my favorite phones of this year. But, well, if you remember, it went through Geekbench rocking a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865, but now there seems to be another variant with an Exynos 990, which went through Geekbench as well. I know, don't celebrate. And these are two completely different model numbers, so it could be that we're getting two different models for different regions. However, there are some differences. This one packs eight gigs of RAM versus the Snapdragon, which has six gigs of RAM. Some of the other leaked specifications include a 6.5 inch display at 120 Hertz, a triple camera setup at the back and a 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Here's the thing, Samsung, if you're gonna call it fan edition, you better not use the Exynos. I'd rather, like, name how many fans you've got of that platform. And speaking of possibilities and launches, let's talk about the new Moto Razr that's being leaked quite often lately. I mean, we're supposedly close to the launch. And actually, the company acknowledged that they're working on a second device. Now, the company just put out a new teaser, which also kind of serves as a press invitation. The teaser shows a device flipping around in the screen, and it reads, save the date for September 9th. The caption also said, flip the smartphone experience once again. So far, we're expecting a phone powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon at 765G, 6 gigs of RAM, 2845 milliamp hour battery, and the camera 
will also be getting some sort of an upgrade. Main sensor being a 48 megapixels and the selfie camera of 20 megapixels, which I just hope in the end, I won't care about the megapixels, just give me good photos, but we'll see what we get. And guys, we have partnered a lot with today's sponsor, Subcase, for two major reasons. The first is because they seriously offer some of the best cases in the market for an insane value. Right now, with the launch of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I dare you to find a better quality rugged case than the award-winning UB Pro, made of a hard polycarbonate and shock-absorbing TPU, which, by the way, also includes a kickstand, a belt holster, and other perks to keep it looking great. And can you believe it's only priced for 20 bucks? Like seriously, you won't find a better deal. Second is because they're actually giving away a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Follow the first link in the description and enter promo code POCKETNOW100. That'll give you an extra 100 entries for more chances to win. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with iPhone 12 or the launch of it, or the fact that we're actually getting more services with it, or the fact that, uh, well, the company's actually going to stagger the launch completely different this year. Let's begin with the basics. According to a new Bloomberg report, Apple wants to sell bundles of their subscription-based services with the iPhone 12. We've been hearing these rumors for a bit, and the bundles would be launched under the Apple One moniker, because I know, Google One wasn't original enough, I guess. They would cost less than the services regularly do to serve as an incentive for buyers. I mean, that's logical. But there will be reportedly different tiers with the lowest one being just Apple Music and Apple TV, while the other more expensive ones will throw in some Apple Arcade and iCloud storage and others. Apparently, they're also working on a fitness-centric service like Nike or Peloton, and these services would all arrive with iOS 14. Now, moving on to the actual phones, John Proser is back and we have some new dates for the possible launch. According to him, we'll be getting the Apple Watch Series 6 and the new iPads through a silent release on September 7th. So that's weird part one. Weird part two is that the actual iPhone 12 event will happen on the week of October 12th, but there's a catch. Apparently the regular iPhone 12 variants will be available for pre-orders on the same day and they will ship on the 19th. But then when it comes to the pros, these will be available in November and that even includes pre-orders. Wait for everything until November. So let us know in the comments down below. I mean, have you made up your mind? Any iPhones that you're interested in this year? or none at all. I mean, don't flock to the comments. Just say, I don't buy iPhones. Fine, do so. Uh, in my case, I'll tell you this much. I do want that small iPhone 12 Pro or whatever we're gonna be getting, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. I'm really interested to hear your opinion. Friends, again, if you wanna get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me yeah, I know, I, I need some color. It's just being locked in is crazy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.